Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Good morning and praise the Lord. Today is Tuesday, June 18th, 2024. Today we celebrate Leontios, Hepatios, and Theodulus, the martyrs of Syria. This martyr was from Greece, being of great bodily stature and strength. He was an, an illustrious soldier in the Roman legions who had won many victories and was known for his prudence and sobriety of mind. When it was learned that he gave grain to the poor from the imperial stores, and was moreover a Christian, Hadrian, the governor of Phoenicia, sent Hapatius, a tribune, and Theodolus, a soldier, to arrest him. Saint Leontius converted them on the way to Tripolis in Phoenicia, where Hypatius and Theodolus were tormented and beheaded by Hadrian for their confession of Christ. Then Hadrian, with many flatteries and many torments, strove to turn Leontius from Christ. All his attempts failing, he had Leontius put to such tortures that he died in the midst of them, under Vespasian in the year 73. Forgive me for not having the uh, pronunciation consistent on that. That was just a user error on my part. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our epistle reading this morning is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 21, verses 26 through 32. In those days Paul took the men, and the next day he purified himself with them, and went into the temple to give notice when the days of purification would be fulfilled, and the offering presented for every one of them. When the seven days were almost completed, the Jews from Asia, who had seen him in the temple, stirred up all the crowd and laid hands on him, crying out, Men of Israel, help! This is the man who is teaching men everywhere against the people and the law, and this place. Moreover, he also brought Greeks into the temple, and he has defiled this holy place. For they had previously seen Trophimus the Ephesian with him in the city, and they supposed that Paul had brought him into the temple. Then all the city was aroused, and the people ran together. They seized Paul and dragged him out of the temple, and at once the gates were shut, and as they were trying to kill him, word came to the tribune of the cohort that all Jerusalem was in confusion. He at once took soldiers and centurions and ran down to them. And when they saw the tribune and the soldiers, they stopped beating Paul. Our gospel reading this morning is from the gospel according to John, chapter 16, verses 2 through 13. The Lord said to his disciples, The hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God, and they will do this because they have not known the Father nor me. But I have said these things to you, that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you of them. I did not say these things to you from the beginning, because I was with you, but now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convince the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Concerning sin, because they do not believe in me. Concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father, and you will see me, see me no more. Concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say to you, 
but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. Speaking of the Spirit of truth, we transition into the next portion of our time together. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, present everywhere and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us. Cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, gracious Lord. Unbelievers, those who believe with difficulty or believe in part, are those who do not show their faith through works. Apart from works, the demons also believe, see James chapter 2 and 19, and confess Christ to be God and Master. We know who you are, say the demons, in Mark uh, chapter 1 verse 24. You are the Son of God, they also say, in Matthew chapter 8 and 29. And elsewhere, these men are the servants of the Most High God, Acts 16 and 17, chapter 16, verse 17. Yet such faith will not benefit the demons nor even humans. This faith is of no use, for it is dead. That is a quote attributed to St. Simeon, the New Theologian. My name is James Newcomb, and you have been listening to Good Morning and Praise the Lord. This is a ministry of our business, Gramer Petrilo. We're a full service publishing and marketing service. If you have a, a podcast, an audiobook, a website that you'd like to build, anything that has to do with clicking a button that says publish, we can help you with it. Social media marketing, if you wish to venture into that. Visit us on the web. Give us a email and we'd be delighted to speak with you and see how we can help you meet your publishing and marketing needs done with integrity and in the spirit of truth with which this podcast is published. That is our intent. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. We conclude our time together as we do every morning with the Lord's Prayer. Thank you for listening. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.